For this example, we want to solve the exponential equation. 4 to the x over 5 equals 11. Looking at the bases, I have a base of 4. 4 can be written as 2 squared. And a base of 11. 11 is prime. There's no factorization um, that will allow me to rewrite that base of 11. So because I can't match these two bases, I can't use the relating the bases method to solve this equation. I need to use one of the other methods. And one of the other methods is, the, um, is to take the log of both sides. So I can take the log on the left, and I can take the log on the right. Introducing the log is allowed because of the one-to-one -one property of logarithms. And the other really good thing that it does is it allows you to use your log properties, especially the power rule here. And the power rule allows you to take that variable out of the exponent. It becomes x over 5 natural log of 4 equals natural log of 11. And I'm going to get rid of this fraction by multiplying by 5 on both sides. That's going to cancel out the 5 on the left, giving me x natural log of 4 equals 5 natural log of 11. I, can, I got an extra line right there. And now I can get x by itself by dividing both sides by natural log of 4. So my solution is x equals 5 natural log of 11 over natural log of 4. We have another technique for solving this equation, this exponential equation, and that is to convert it to a logarithm. So the same equation, 4 to the x over 5 equals 11, what we can do is rewrite this exponential equation as a logarithmic equation. We would write the word log, and we're going to use the base of our exponent, that's base 4. The log always equals the exponent. We have an exponent of x over 5. And then the 11 is what goes inside the log. Now we want to get x by itself. So it would multiply by 5 on both sides. And I have x equals 5 log base 4 of 11. And this gives me my solution. Now, even though this solution and this solution look different from each other, if we were to type those in our calculator, we'd get the exact same answer. They are just different forms using logarithmic properties. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.